It was supposed to be a fun weekend getaway for five college friends, Jake, Mia, Ryan, Zoe, and Leo. They had rented a cabin in the woods near a lake and planned to enjoy some hiking, fishing, and bonfires. They packed their bags, loaded their car, and hit the road on Friday afternoon. The drive was smooth and scenic, and they arrived at the cabin around dusk. They unpacked their stuff, lit a fire, and cooked some burgers and hot dogs. They ate, drank, and laughed, reminiscing about their old times and sharing their plans for the future. They were having a blast, until they heard a loud thud outside. They all jumped, startled by the noise. Jakey grabbed a flashlight and went to check it out. He saw a large branch had fallen from a tree blocking the road. He shrugged, thinking it was just the wind. He returned to the cabin and told his friends not to worry. They resumed their conversation, but soon they heard another thud, this time closer to the cabin. They looked at each other, feeling uneasy. Mia suggested they should go inside and lock the doors. Ryan agreed, and they all followed him. They closed the windows and locked the doors, feeling safer inside. They decided to watch a movie on the TV, hoping to forget about the noises. They settled on the couch and Ryan turned on the TV. He flipped through the channels, but there was nothing but static. He frowned, wondering what was wrong. He checked the cable, but it seemed fine. He tried to call the owner of the cabin, but there was no signal. He cursed, feeling frustrated. He told his friends that the TV was not working and that they had no phone service. They all groaned, feeling bored. Zoe suggested they should play a game, like truth or dare. Leo agreed, and they all agreed. They sat in a circle and Zoe spun a bottle. It landed on Jake. Zoe smiled and asked him, Truth or dare? Jake thought for a moment and said, Dare. Zoe grinned and said, I dare you to go outside and touch the branch that fell from the tree. Jake hesitated, feeling nervous. He looked at the window and saw it was dark outside. He heard the wind howling and the branches creaking. He did not want to go outside, but he did not want to back down from a dare. He said, fine, I'll do it. But you guys have to watch me from the window, okay? They all nodded and Jake got up. He grabbed his flashlight and his jacket and opened the door. He stepped outside and felt a chill in the air. He shivered and zipped up his jacket. He walked towards the road, shining his flashlight on the ground. He saw the branch and walked towards it. He reached it and touched it with his hand. He felt a rough texture and a sticky substance. He looked at his hand and saw blood. He gasped and dropped his flashlight. He looked up and saw a figure standing in the shadows. It was tall and thin, with long arms and legs. It had no face, just a blank mask. It wore a dark cloak and held a large axe. It raised the axe and swung it at Jake. Jake screamed and tried to run, but it was too late. The axe hit him in the neck and severed his head. His body fell to the ground and his head rolled away. The figure picked up his head and held it in its hand. It looked at the window and saw the faces of Jake's friends. They were frozen in horror, watching the scene. The figure smiled and threw the head at the window. It shattered the glass and landed on the floor. The figure walked towards the cabin, dragging the axe behind it. Mia, Ryan, Zoe, and Leo were terrified. They did not know what to do. They saw the figure approaching the cabin and heard the axe scraping the ground. They panicked and ran to the back door. They opened it and ran outside. They saw a car parked near the cabin. It was not theirs but they did not care. They ran towards it, hoping to escape. They reached the car and tried to open the door, but it was locked. They looked inside and saw a corpse in the driver's seat. It was the owner of the cabin. He had a hole in his chest and a note pinned to his shirt. It read, Welcome to my cabin. I hope you enjoy your stay. P.S. There is no escape. They screamed and turned around. They saw the figure standing behind them. It had reached the cabin and followed them. It raised the axe and swung it at them. They all died one by one in a bloody mess. The figure laughed and dropped the axe. It walked away, leaving the carnage behind. It had completed its mission. It had killed them all. 